Hey y'all, it's the Rip One Outdoors. How y'all doing today? I want to turn the camera around here and show y'all uh, something. Maybe to get a topic started off today. Right here about where my camper is. This was a circle drive here. But right about here where the tongue of my camper is, there was an old shed here. And that was our boat shed. Remember me all down at the Bay St. Louis? I told you about us going fishing. We always had a boat. But that was our boat shed. And it was like one big shed here. There was a middle shed. Seemed like Mickey kept his little boat in it for a while. Uh, right here about where this tongue is. So there was a big boat shed over here. A little small boat shed here. And then right here about where the back wheel was. They was uh, Daddy's uh, tater shed. And that's where he kept his taters at. And when he didn't have taters, he let uh, the chickens come in there and scratch around, I guess. Then the behind, back there where the pool is, Candace and them got a pool back there. Back, back there was a chicken yard. So now you can associate you can go back and look at that video that i made about taking the chicken fishing okay and you can associate why the chicken had access to the boat and there was a chicken got up under the deck of the boat and made a nest and we didn't know it and we went fishing well i'm just gonna stop there i'm gonna put that video out at the out at the end of the uh i'm pointing like y'all can see me i'm gonna put the video out at the end of the end of the video and y'all can check that out about taking a, a chicken fishing with us but anyway i said all that to say this we had the we had chicken yard here and somehow daddy wound up with a bunch of turkeys and he come and told us he said well we, we must have had 20 turkeys and daddy said boys we need to get rid of them turkeys he said, I think we're going to have a shooting match, a turkey shoot. So bear that in mind. And I'm going to, when I drive, get on my bike and I ride out here in the yard, I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to just try to, try to build a little scenario, a little story here for y'all. So today will be a story ride. I'm on my lunch break. It's uh, Thursday, the, uh, what is the day, 19th? So I'm on uh, my lunch break and uh, we're going to take a little ride. Weather report. It's uh, 70 degrees. But y'all know me, my old man self. I got my old trusty red flannel sleeve <laughs> shirt on. I'm sorry, Joe Rides. I just had to do it. I, I got to have my flannel shirt because the wind's a little chilly. So let's go take a ride here. So I'll kill this video now and we'll uh, pick you up on another. Okay, y'all. I told you I'd get back with you, so we're getting back with you here. Before we take off on our ride, I want to give y'all this area here. This area here is where we had the, the shooting match, we, the turkey shoot, okay? So now, so now you know. There was a lot more trees in there then, but that was before Hurricane Katrina hit. Hurricane Katrina cleared this place out. I mean, it, it, there ain't hardly nothing left in here now compared to what it was. But I told y'all about the turkeys. Here's where we had the shooting match. And uh, also, this ride today is going to be brought by, uh, brought to you by the word Mayanada. Okay, so there's the word for the day is Mayanada. Hey, roll that intro. Let's get this thing on the road. All right, y'all, let's get on down the road here. 
and we're gonna get started it's a story ride today as we told you These old pot lickers. What about it there, pot lickers? What y'all daring out today? Watch out, you're gonna fight, fight one another. <laughs> Here comes some more. Let me get my love potion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's my love potion. I told y'all about that the other day, I believe. It's a, that's a mixture of vinegar with a little bit of liquid crab barrel mixed up with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with a little bit of liquid, liquid crab boil mixed up with vinegar. And uh, I got a little story to tell about that. The first day I rode with Mickey was the first day that I, first day I rode with Mickey on his new Magic Cycle Cruiser was the first day that I got that concoction mixed up and uh so i didn't i don't think i well i may have told mickey about it <laughs> so we took off mickey was behind me we come on by the dogs there i don't even think the dogs mess with me but one of them kind of run out there and i took my spray and i sprayed towards that dog well I didn't realize Mickey <laughs> Mickey wasn't 20 feet back there <laughs> and he ran into that mess <laughs> we got down to the end of the road guys and Mickey said I mean he said I run through something back there that knew about took my breath away <laughs> Hey, um, Lord, y'all. I tell you what, that was funny. But yeah, he said, I run through something. It near about took my breath away. <laughs> he said, I don't know what they're doing back there. I said, Mickey, that was my that was my love potion I mixed up for the dogs. He said, well, what is it? I told him it was vinegar with crab ball. <laughs> Yeah, I got a truck coming behind me or something or another. Yeah, look, get on the four wheeler. No horses. Anyway, the word may not. Y'all got that one figured out yet? That's a southern word. That's a that's, well, maybe it ain't a southern word. That's a, one of our words. We use it quite a bit. But the use of the word is, I'll put that in a sentence, is we got some new folks that's watching. And y'all may have not have heard me tell that this was our old place right here. This is where, this is where that we were living at when I was born. That's the old lane right here. Y'all, it went right up through there. And that, that field was there, and there's some big live oaks up in there. It was real pretty, but that was our old place. And we, nobody can live here anymore because this is the buffer zone from NASA. I know some of y'all's heard this before, but there's, there's some... Uh, well, quite a few people have started watching here recently and got some new subscribers and I wanted to tell that story but this is our old place here but some of y'all may not so there's that word may not is any y'all use that word is that in the dictionary I don't know but it's in my dictionary because I use it all the time but you may not have heard me tell that But yeah, I'm gonna get to the story, and I and and I've got a, I've got a particular. Uh, we're on our way to the VFW. Y'all know where the VFW is. We pass that all the time. And uh, 
but yeah i'm on the way to the vfw because that's kind of where we're going to end the story at about the shooting match well daddy come up with this bunch of turkeys i don't know he daddy decided daddy did some crazy things but he decided he was going to set him off a bunch of turkeys so he had him an old turkey hen he got him a bunch of eggs and well he just let her sit and that thing hatched them turkeys out and you know daddy daddy did that quite a few times he had uh daddy had white turkeys he had the brown turkeys and listen to this y'all we even had a couple of hen turkeys that had beards okay so for some of y'all that don't know the turkeys the the males have a beard hangs off of their chest down here and the females don't but we had i believe it was two hen turkeys that had beards and that was very rare and these people come from all over the country to see that them hens they had a lot of turkey hunters billy wayne's a big turkey hunter and uh black hawk helicopter but yeah daddy decided he said boys let's have a let's have a shooting match well around here i don't know if they do it where y'all at but around here and especially at the vfws and the american legions they have a shooting match it used to be people would do that at like family reunions and things like that just wherever you could get together and you wanted to have some fun instead of playing football or something like that you have a shooting match well you take you take cards paper cards now back then seemed to me like there's a number that come to me that number was eight inches and i think that's what size we made the cards we went to the we got some poster board and we cut that poster board and we had it uh we then we took lines and pencil line and we drew from one corner to the next and you put that card up i'm thinking me and mickey and joy have been talking about it this morning about 40 steps down there and then you shoot it with a you shoot it with a shotgun and whoever gets close to the closest to the x gets a pellet closest to the x they win and and the prize was now now here if you go to turkey shoots today and you they shoot off a turkey they'll give you a uh they'll give you a uh, a coupon to go to the grocery store and get a frozen turkey but our turkey shoot was unique and the fact that if you want a turkey daddy said boys go get <laughs> go get the winner a turkey and we went up in the coop because we had all the turkeys shut up i think we must have had 20 turkeys we went up in there and grabbed a turkey and we tied their back legs together and we give them their prize and they went away with a live turkey y'all believe that y'all think i'm telling y'all a story <laughs> y'all think i'm storying to you but no i'm telling you the truth so daddy put out the word we we put it on the old thick pen store news and old man grady thick pen had him a little radio program and he broadcasted it all over pearl river county and and days the day we had it there was people come from all over all over the place around here come to that turkey shoot and we beginning to think we wasn't going to have enough prizes to give away and the way you do it is i think we did about i don't know joy some of y'all chime in i think it was maybe 25 or so we did like 25 shots per per turkey we furnish the shells but you furnish your own gun shotgun 
you can shoot whatever gauge you wanted to shoot but we furnished the shells because you wouldn't want nobody coming in there and bringing no homebrew shells in there they liable to pour some syrup down in that shell or something to make the lid all stick together or something so yeah we set it up and we started shooting off you had you so you'd, you'd sign up to targets and they'd pay so much for they'd pay so much for a shot so we'd give them a card and we'd put their name on that card and they would we would pile the cards up once we got a certain amount built up then daddy'd say okay boys we're ready to shoot this turkey off and we'd go down and we would line everybody up not line them up we would shoot like three shots at a time three people at a time and they would start shooting and when we would shoot until we got to the end of uh, we got them 25 done then we would uh, take the cards stack them up and somebody would be in charge of uh, judging them, see who was closest to the X. When you had one that was pretty close, you put it in a pile. When you had one that was two inches away from the X, you throw them, up, you throw them to the side. And then you'd know which ones to, you know, weed out or cull out. There's a word for you, cull. So we'd cull them out. And then we'd take them, whichever ones had the best chance, and then we would take a, a little school. A little, there goes that black hawk. Oh, he's just kind of hovering up there. We would take one of these little old pencil compasses. Y'all familiar with what I'm talking about? Used them in elementary school to draw a circle. And that's what we use to gauge who was closest to the X? That's a fact. But I tell you, y'all, that was that was a lot of fun. And later on in life, we had a y'all. Uh, well, let me just tell you this. I'm gonna hook up a video to this one. I'm gonna start it right about here. And I'm gonna show you a, a kind of a visual display of what, what what went on there at the turkey shoot. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot a few targets and show y'all, and then we'll get back with y'all. Okay. Hey y'all, it's Rip One Outdoors here. As promised, I told y'all I was gonna give y'all a little firing demonstration. Let me grab my other gun here. And uh, show y'all about what went on at a at a turkey shoot or a shooting shooting match. We we used to call them turkey shoots. You can call them whatever you want to. I got two guns here, maybe just to simul simulate a couple of people. Uh, you people would come with a variety of guns. Some people have a. a, a sweet 16 you know uh, some people have a over and under some people have a double barrel some people have an automatic over and unders was not very popular around here in the uh, early 70s when we were doing turkey shoots but now seem like over and unders are pretty popular i love my over and under we bought i bought this one for shooting some trap we can shoot anywhere we want to here y'all ain't gonna bother nobody uh, the railroad uh, right behind us here there's these hundreds of acres over there nobody behind but anyway uh, I'm gonna start out with the old my old first gun that I ever bought daddy loaded me daddy come home from work on a Friday evening and took me to town I don't know y'all what year it was like I say probably early 70s 70 something like that and took me to Thick Pen Hardware. Bought me this Winchester 370 16 gauge. Now you can't even hardly find shells for a 16 gauge. Made in Canada. 
I imagine that you Canada guys yep single barrel full choke breakdown I'm shooting a uh, that's, that's seven and a half load right there so we got the target set up down there and I'll show you all the targets here in a minute but that's at about 40 40 steps that's the way I measured it off about 40 steps which is what we used to use for measurement we never got too technical with it just step it off all right so let's shoot that one that sounded good let's go get the target and swap it out oh by the way right through here where i'm walking got a new shed coming brand new uh bike shed uh whatever lawnmower shed coming from uh columbia mississippi oh that's a good target now the way we shoot here the way we score it is we score it the closest to the x see that's an eight by eight card i think the standard size that they use now is five by five but this is what we used to use an eight by eight uh, so let me put this other target up here we're gonna shoot this one with the 12 gauge well, that's not bad a little 16 gauge it throws a pretty good uh it's got a pretty good little close pattern right there but we used to have a score where you had to count them lord you're talking about a pain now that was a pain having to count these things and the winner would be the person with the most shot in the card so we've got number two down there we're gonna do it with a 12 gauge this ain't nothing special y'all it's a stoker condor but man i love this look i love this little gun all right ready close your ears now i think i pulled on that one let's go take a look I think I pulled it off of it. Maybe I still got a good shot, though. Huh? Yeah, I pulled. That was not a good. Uh, man, that 16 gauge did a lot better job. Look at there. I, said, I pulled it. I pulled my aim. My aim was over here. But either way, y'all get the picture. So I wouldn't have won nothing with this. I can tell you. And to tell you the truth, that 16 gauge probably wouldn't have won it either. Uh, Daddy had a 12 gauge 870 pump gun, Remington, my late 70, and that thing won more turkeys and prizes and whatever uh sometime it was a cash prize that thing won more stuff it was just the way the barrel was on it i reckon i don't know but there would people would come that to the turkey shoots right out here where we had them at people would come out here and want to use daddy's gun well we'd have 25 people shooting to win a turkey and probably five or six of them was shooting daddy's gun and mama went over and told daddy said preston said you need your head examined he said you're you you're shooting against your own gun and uh but daddy didn't care that's the way that's the way he was he didn't mind so let's look at the targets here let's see who would have won the turkey remember we is we had live turkey as a prize hey Ray Charles can see that. There's your winner right there, that 16 gauge. About 
three eighths of an inch from the X. There you go. My 12 gauge, I pulled it. I pulled it. That's not something I normally do. So, anyway, I hope y'all have enjoyed this part of the uh, ride. Anyway, I'm going to turn y'all back loose and we're going to put y'all back on Ridge Road over there about Satch Frierson's place and uh, ease on over towards the VFW. And we're going to finish it up over there. We're going to show you where the VFW has shooting matches to this day. All right, y'all, I'm back with you. So I hope y'all enjoyed that little, that little fireworks display there. But yeah, that's, that's, that's how it, that's how it, pretty much how it went. And, uh, but we had a, we had a time when, uh, when my aunt come down with cancer and they had her her brother was a member of the VFW up here and they had her a shooting match to take up money for her which was a good thing y'all but right here at the old VFW and we was we was youngins y'all it must have been back in the 70s low, uh, early 70s when we was doing all this so we went over here to the VFW and we all, all, Daddy had us all volunteer to help. And we was selling chances and we was giving them the shells and stuff like that. That one old fella that was, got up there to shoot, well he kept wanting, come, he come over there, he kept wanting his shell. Daddy told us, said boys, we're here around VFW. Here's a mattress y'all, anybody needs a mattress? That looks like a queen. And it's got a pillow topper on the top of it. Mattress topper. Yeah, it's right here on Ridge Road. So, there was an old man named Preacher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, his name was Preacher. Or that's what they called him anyway. And he kept coming up there wanting here son go ahead and give me my shells i'm gonna load my gun i said now preacher daddy said we can't give no shells out until you get on the firing line well he somehow slipped in there and got him some shells and put in his gun and we kept telling people you know we was daddy was telling people boys don't load your guns don't load your guns till until you get on the firing line well preacher got to messing around there and his gun his gun went off well he thought it was somebody else's look preacher had been in been liquored up a little bit and here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna ride around the back here this is something i don't think i've ever done with y'all but I'm going to show y'all where they have the shooting matches, okay? I'm sure they won't mind. These good people. See, there's their stations right out there. You got station 1 through 10. And they got some uh, cross ties there behind them. Stop the lead shot. And they put their targets out there and and they uh that's where they do benefits and and for for people that's down on their look and uh are usually medical reasons cancers and stuff like that and they have uh shooting match benefits for people and that's where we was at the little shed right here that's where they was giving that's where we was at and we was giving people their shells y'all hold on Y'all see that black hawk? Yeah. So the little shed here was where we uh That's the little shed is where we'd give people their their shells and stuff like that. But yeah. Preacher, 
he accidentally let his gun go off. He didn't even know it was his gun. I think he'd been hitting, hitting the bottle a little bit. But yeah, he didn't even know it was his gun that went off. And you know what he did? He turned around there and said, boys, some of y'all is gonna shoot somebody. Somebody else get around here gonna kill somebody with these guns. Don't load them. And somebody said, I think it was Cotton Gerald, said, uh, preacher, it was your gun that went off. Oh, was it? <laughs> Preacher's gun went off and he didn't even know it. He accused somebody else. So the moral of that story is, is what? Come on, y'all tell me. Alcohol and firearms do not mix, right? But they still do it right there at your VFW there. They still have shooting matches. Yeah, like I say, we on our lunchtime ride. It's 70 degrees. I wore this long sleeve shirt, but I really didn't need it. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty nice today. Boy, got him a lift there. Going to do him some elevated work somewhere. Anyway, we hope y'all enjoyed the story about the shooting match. You know, nobody, only at places like that do they still do it. You don't hardly ever see people having them at their house. And you certainly don't have people giving away live turkeys as a prize anymore. But that was something that was, that was something that was, uh, <laughs> that was very unique. Y'all, I'm going to cut this one off. Look, we got some new people watching. And, uh, wanted to, in, uh, thank them for watching. And thank all the new subscribers we got and everything. We're looking forward to getting back with the brothers and riding with them. May not be able to do nothing Saturday because... They call it for 80% chance of rain. So there you go. I don't know. It's no, no telling when we'll get back together. But we will. We got we got good uh, good times ahead of us. We got some new helmets we're gonna try out. There's a good mattress for somebody. Come and get it. And hey, hit that like and that subscribe if you will. And there's that, uh, we're going to leave you with the instructions on buying a Magicycle bike. Yep, I'm riding a Magicycle cruiser. And uh, I'm a share sale, what do you call it, share sale affiliate. So I will get a commission if you decide to buy one by, by clicking on that link and follow that link. And buy the bike while you're in that link. There's going to be some coupons in there too, y'all save you some money on bikes check that out on my description well hey we hope y'all have enjoyed it and we'll catch y'all later rip one out <laughs>